Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about command line tool that I recently use uh, and I love it which is this commander uh, the reason I love it is uh, it has both uh, the Windows command CMD features as well as bash features also it looks great so so let's uh, install this uh, you can go to commander.net and download this full version also I would like to download this 7G which is just 42 MB so I think I've already downloaded that okay once that is downloaded just extract that I've, I've extracted it here as commander full you don't need to install this just uh, click on commander.exe and it will open so uh, yeah uh, keeping it here is totally fine but what I like to do is just uh, cut this and paste this inside uh, program files so I have placed it here commander so after pasting it here what you'd uh, like to do is just uh, right click and mm, we need to give it permissions uh, so that uh, it can create some files so go to security and edit the permissions so give uh, the current user all uh, this check uh, all the things here allow so if you don't want to place this inside C uh, this is not a problem uh, you don't need to provide the permission so only if you want to place it inside here you can so if you want to place this inside D you uh, need not to do that okay so just place it inside program files and give the permission to current user to do whatever he or she wants to do okay so security find the current user all right and yeah find user and allow check this all of the fields and okay all right so that's about permission now it is uh, set up so you might uh, you have seen that i have this option commander here uh, so uh, to to make just like this what you need to do is just type in uh, one additional command all right so if you go to here and go to the github repo you'll find that instruction on that so navigate to directory you have placed commander and execute this command okay so let's navigate to that directory okay open the commander dot exe and we, uh, we have to open that in uh, admin mode so uh, right click and add new and run as administrator all right so now so in order to navigate to the folder where you have installed your commander there is shortcuts so just type command d-e-r-r -R, enter so it will take you uh, into that directory otherwise you can just cd into that directory okay so now just type this command copy and right click to paste it so I've already done that okay so now that will mm, now you can see this option in your context menu alright okay so another uh, great feature of this commander is you can uh, you can customize it uh, whatever you like okay so just cre clear the console and there are a lot of features here you can play around with them but here if you go to features color you can see this is monkai and it will update in real time okay just see so this is monkai mode and if you want to uh, see the Ubuntu this is Ubuntu also XTOM and Kim Agama con emu okay there are a lot of options so that is plus point you might get irritated with same theme so you can change this all right so another one uh, is you can set the alias okay in order to set the alias uh, you can set the alias like for example for example the alias for 
ls uh, yeah we can set the alias for ls like uh, alias l equals to ls okay so now if you type l it will do exactly same okay although this is the ridiculous one yeah so another mm, great feature is okay let's open the commander in some project in our laravel project uh, so go to youtube okay so now uh, uh, you might want to set the alias for php artisan so you can set uh, alias uh, p art equals to php artisan uh, we supply the argument like this so you we might uh, we might type php artisan and other uh, arguments like make auth or make something okay so this is the placeholder for that now if you type p art yeah we can see all the commands related to php artisan so uh, we can supply other argument like pr route list okay so it will show the list of route yeah so this is how you set alias so uh, let me show you where this alias uh, aliases are stored so let's clear this type cmderr it will take you to the directory where you have installed commander and just uh, ls so uh, cd into config and ls so here you can see this file user aliases dot cmd so open that in vim so vi user alias dot cmd okay so this is text file here you can see these all commands okay so website this uh, this okay or you can directly write it here so I have um, uh, written couple of these aliases all right also you can open in subline so subl users slash alias okay so it will open up this in alias so okay so this is all about alias setting alias so next uh, we want to learn how we can integrate this with IDEs so first we uh, will take a look at sublime so let's close everything so I've opened this folder project so in order to uh, set this terminal with sublime what you can do is uh, first you want to install uh, the package called terminal so just search for terminal package so terminal I've already installed so so after installing terminal what you can do is just control shift P and type terminal and setting default open this folder sorry file so here option for terminal what type of terminal you want to use and parameter you want to pass so instead of uh, changing this file I will open I'll open the setting user okay so here I placed this uh, line this is the location where I placed commander.exe and this parameter uh, you can find this command over here inside this uh, package control terminal so for documentation in documentation for terminal package for sublime so this is the command just paste it in and now uh, if you type control shift t it will open the commander okay so this is handy uh, you can minimize it using control control tilde it will minimize and same uh, key strokes for maximizing it so one more feature uh, if you right click and attach to so I don't know you like it or not 
so if you want to attach attach it to any uh, program that is currently running so here is sublime text so I select that and attach so what it will do is it will just attach that inside the commander so in this tab you can see this commander and in other tab you can see sublime all right okay so you can close this tab using uh, control W okay so this is how you integrate with sublime uh, also if you use PHP storm and you want to integrate this uh, there is slightly uh, this is slightly tricky okay okay in order to integrate that uh, with terminal over here so so if you want to commander as a terminal in PHP storm so you need to do uh, two steps uh, two additional step one is first you need to add uh, the uh, commander root so where you have installed commander in your environment file so let's do that so right click on this PC properties and uh, advanced system setting and go to environment variable so here you need to add this uh, extra variable so the way you add that is using new so name it cmder R O O T, okay, and put the path here, okay. So where, wherever you have put your commander dot commander folder, so browse to directory, and from here you can go to that directory. So yeah, like this. So make sure uh, just uh, like this, okay. Not like C M D E R don't reference the commander.exe just folder okay so after that save that okay and uh, confirm that so now let's go to uh, PHP storm and open setting file settings and here just search for terminal and here uh, here inside cell path you need to type in this command okay so cmd slash k and uh, that uh, reference that variable commander root and vendor init dot bat so this is the file inside that okay commander root so if your uh, if your folder got extra spaces like program and space files you need to put extra braces inside extra comma okay otherwise you can remove so i have commander inside this location so i got this space okay so you need to provide the extra codes otherwise uh, if your directory do not contain that you don't need to just remove these extra codes okay all right so after that uh, just restart it and you'll see the new terminal okay that's the way to integrate that with PSP storm and there are a couple of shortcuts like uh, control alt and u so that will traverse uh, the directory one directory up so previously we are inside this commander now it will take us to commander file okay so like this and you can use linux command ls okay and yeah you can create a uh, multiple console here so if you want to use powershell powershell as admin bas okay there are a lot of option down here so this is all about commander uh, you you might want to give it try so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.